It's a nice cool night, so why don't we walk and talk about homophobia of the Kevin Hart variety. And I just want to say right off the bat, I feel a little bit bad criticizing Kevin Hart because overall he seems like he seems like an overall stand-up nice guy. He seems like a funny guy, you know, he's obviously very hardworking, and yet he is being dogged by this issue of homophobia based on a joke that he made back in 2010 that was that was bad enough, but man, some of his recent defenses of it. It makes you really question what it is that he thinks about some of these groups in society. So if you missed it, the, the joke back in 2010 was, uh, one of my biggest fears is my son growing up and being gay. That's a fear. Keep in mind, I'm not homophobic. Be happy. Do what you want to do. But me as a heterosexual male, if I can prevent my son from being gay, I will. And so, look, prevent him from being gay? That's, that's not what you want to hear a person say about that group. Especially, he's talking about his potential son, his hypothetical son there. So that bothered a lot of people, and you know, this was five years ago, that's a long time ago, and yet it is still being brought up from time to time, and so he decided to talk to Rolling Stone about it, and the stuff that he said in his defense, man, that's... <laughs> well, you know, I'll, I'll read it for you, and you let me know what you think. Uh, th let's see. It's about my fear. I'm thinking about what I did as a dad. Did I do something wrong? And if I did, what was it? Not that I'm going to love my son or think about him any differently. The funny thing within that joke is it's me getting mad at my son because of my own insecurities. I panicked. It has nothing to do with him. It's about me. That's the difference between bringing, uh, between bringing a joke across that's well thought out and saying something just to ruffle feathers. I wouldn't say that joke today. And he goes on. And look, I, I like that he's sort of apologizing. It means he knows that he did something wrong. Some people wouldn't do that. They wouldn't, even, they wouldn't even go to that point. And that he's saying that it's not about the son, it's about him, which is true. And yet, five years on from his initial comment, he still understands as little about, about being gay as he did back in 2010. He's still saying, what did I do to cause it? You know, how did I fail my son to bring him to this low point of being gay? What did I do? But dude, you didn't do anything. You still think that being gay is the product of, of some sort of damage that your family inflicts on you. And then you're broken and that's what you are from there on out. But that's why people have a problem with your comments, man. It's not that they think that you think that, like, that you hate gay people. That's what generally we think of when we think of homophobia, but I don't think that that's what people think about Kevin Hart, and I don't think that he does hate gay people. It's just this misunderstanding. And having it in 2010, okay, that's a little bit hard for me to understand, but fine, you have the misunderstanding in 2010. But like, he hasn't been educated in the past five years? I mean, that's hard to believe, and that's why people are still mad about this. Because like, he seems like a nice guy, he seems like a guy who's filled with, with compassion and, and things like that, and yet this very easy to learn lesson that he's heard repeated ad nauseum, you do not choose to be gay, you are gay, or you are not gay. It is not caused by damage that your son or that, that your father didn't play catch with you enough or something like that. He has heard that and yet it hasn't penetrated. And it makes me wonder, is it because he doesn't want it to penetrate? And again, I have nothing against Kevin Hart and I don't think that he's a bad guy. I don't think that he's a mean guy. But this is a lesson that, that is bigger than Kevin Hart. And, and, and my frustration isn't about him. It's about other people. The lack of understanding these, these very simple facts. You don't choose to be gay. The earth is heating up. Things like this that people just refuse to learn. It's, it's frustrating. It's disconcerting to a person that wants to believe the best in people. So let me know what you think about, about my approach to people, but also Kevin Hart. Has he learned anything in the past five years? Are we being too hard at him? Am I personally being too hard at him? Let me know and we'll walk and talk again.